Tax filing season is underway, which means that refunds could start rolling into bank accounts as soon as this week. But be careful before you start spending it. John Rudder is joining us live this morning, and John, people may want to think about saving more than usual this year. Yeah, they really might. So many people are feeling that financial squeeze with prices skyrocketing from food to gas and more. And keep this in mind, we also don't have many of those crucial pandemic relief measures that were in place last year. So we spoke with a local financial expert about how you can budget for inflation in 2022. As the co-owner of Menor Family Foods, PJ Conway is seeing firsthand how supply chain issues and inflation are affecting families. You're seeing customers change. Uh, different cuts of meat, different types of produce. It's becoming more of a need rather than want. Uh, it's getting back to the way it, way it used to be. And the historical price hikes are expected to continue throughout the year. Now everybody's tightening their belt again and, and going, going from there, or going back to basics. Local financial professional Ben Grosko from Integrated Wealth Management says people need to start saving and budgeting their money accordingly. So how can we prepare our finances? Inflation is, uh, is sticking around and, you know, everywhere we go, it seems like we're paying more. Focus on these three things. Number one, bring debt down. Note the interest rates you're paying and prepare for an increase this year. Consider a balance transfer to a card with a lower APR and auto payments can help avoid late fees. Number two, create an emergency fund, one where you have enough money to cover three to six months of expenses if you were to lose your job, miss a paycheck, or face an unexpected medical bill. We're not making any money on our savings accounts, money markets, nothing on CDs. Search for other places where you can actually make some money on that, that, that cash you have in the bank. Number three, revisit your goals. Investing or staying invested in stocks is one way to stay on track and beat inflation. So if, if you're lucky enough to invest in your 401k or, or put money to work for you, um, if you've been saving the last few years, staying in the market will help uh, you, you combat inflation. Also, keep in mind mortgage rates have gone up during the past three weeks. Many experts say that will continue in 2022 and rents are also forecasted to move higher. Refinance your home if you haven't already. You know, interest rates are still at an all time low. And if you're in the four or five percent range on your house, you may want to look into refinancing because that may free up some money on a monthly basis. Now, if you're still not sure about your budget for this year, talk to a financial planner to help get you on the right track with your finances. And keep this in mind, Danita, the day to file those taxes with the deadline rather Monday, April 18th. And of course, the sooner you do that, the better. That's a message for all those procrastinators out there. You've been warned. Thank you so much, John. You know, drugs that keep us healthy, they're also causing.